Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about another automation testing tool which does empowerment of Playwright with artificial intelligence. So you can run Playwright test using artificial intelligence using this tool, Auto Playwright. If you remember, a couple of days before we were talking about an automation testing tool called a Zero Step which does supercharge your Playwright test with artificial intelligence using the generative chat GPT AI using GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. We saw how the code were actually working using zero step and also discussed how the paid option works with thousand function calls that you can do per month and also we show how the dashboard really works in order to show you the total number of records that you have made, the billing details and subscriptions and the user management and stuff. That's what we were discussing in the last video using zero step. But this one, the Auto Playwright is a free version of the artificial intelligence tool, which does the exact same thing that you can do with zero step. But there are some caveat. That is what we'll be discussing in this particular video. Well, the first thing while we tell about free version of the artificial intelligence using this particular tool is that you don't really have an zero step kind of payment system or a platform really. All you have to do is you need to use this npm install auto playwright hyphen d to install this library and then you need to add the open api key which which is the open ai's api key that you need to be adding as an environment variable and then you need to run the test as we saw in our earlier videos using the zero step as well pretty much like how this zero step does the coding using the natural language that how we do with ai method we're just going to use a new method called as auto to do the exact same thing as well that is what is the only change that i have seen with these two coding libraries and the way that you're going to be doing to obtain this particular open ai's api key is that you have to go to the openai.com and then you got to be logging in and then you don't really have to have a paid plan, but you need to at least have the open AI key. And once you do, then you gotta be go to the API and then you need to go to the usage where you can see how many uses that I have done. You can see that I have already done like 4.76% of the usage. I only have like a couple of more a usage limit that I can really do with this particular usage, then I don't really have any more top of money, but you have to actually purchase the credit so that you can really use this particular API key itself. So I got my API key over here. So that is my super secret API key that I have purchased and you can actually do those billings and stuff from here. So you can go to the uh, billing and you can see that currently the only balance that I have is this, but you can add the credit balance and do all those things. I have turned off the auto recharge just in case because if somebody is going to use my API key, then I'm doomed, right? Cool. So uh, that's all that I have for this particular settings on the open AI side of API. And then now I'm going to go all the way here and I already have my open AI's keys and stuff. So all I'm going to do is I am going to write the exact same kind of code using this auto playwright. And again, as I told you, there are some caveat in this particular auto playwright. The main caveat that I have seen is the very slow processing of this particular records and stuff. So you can see that I have written this particular code uh, in the auto playwright way. All I have did is I just added this auto playwright over here and the latest version is 1.14 and the author is keep bumping up the versions, which is good. And then you have to write the new test.spec.ts file pretty much like how we, we did in our earlier videos with the zero step as well, like this coding. And that's exactly what I did. The only change that I have did is when I try to enter the username as admin and the password as the password, I gotta be doing that in two different lines, but here I tried the same line and it did work. So that is good. And there is one more thing that you can do in this particular auto playwright is that you can actually go to this particular a GitHub page and you can see that you can also use the constant of option where you can specify the model of GPT-4 preview version as well. This is the turbo version that you can use. This turbo version will be a bit faster as as it names, but I don't see any difference to be honest, but it yeah, it does that for you. So you can do this as well. You can just copy this whole thing and then you can pass this as an option which can actually does those things for you. So I'm gonna show you how it actually works. So basically I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna add the uh, options here uh, and I'm just gonna say true or maybe just, I don't really have to say any debugging operation. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna set this API key from the environment variable 
and I'm gonna just use this option over here, something like this. That way it just works fine. Maybe it is gonna be faster and I have never tried it before. So I'm just gonna set this all over here and I'm going to do this over here and here and here cool so everything has been done over here so i'm going to run this test and see how it actually going to work so for doing that i'm just going to uh say focus terminal over here and i'm just going to say export open api key and then i'm going to run the test right now so let's see how it actually going to work but in order to do that i'm just going to say npx playwright test of tests slash I think the new spec, new test dot spec dot ts file. This is the only thing that we have got, and I'm going to specify the browser option as well. So let's see if I have turned on. Yeah, headless is false here, which is good. So I think I can just execute it. So you can see that once I do that, the browser is going to open. It's going to navigate to the website, pretty much exactly how we expected, and it should ideally click the login button and enter the username and password. So you can see that it is slow. It is definitely slower than zero step because it used to execute much, much faster in zero step. But you can see that even though we have specified as GPT-4 turbo version, the execution is ridiculously slow. Uh, but it does the operation, by the way. But that doesn't mean that it, this is how the automation testing tool should work. But I have seen that there are some caveat. And I've also seen some caveat like the test just fails as well. It is not very reliable i think the author is still working on it or maybe the gpt is not working as expected uh, but i can see that the functionality is working fine uh, but not all of them are working as expected but but yeah so this is how the auto playwright of the new flavor of this particular automation testing tool pretty much inspired by the zero step is working with the gpt as well and most importantly even though we say it is a free version there is a caveat here because even though it is free, you actually need to have OpenAI's API that you need to purchase. So if you don't really have the balance, then it is gonna fail. Uh, and you can see that currently my balance is gonna keep going down because I've already used it. So yeah, that, that is the other caveat that we have. But yeah, that is the thing about this particular new auto playwright feature. And you can see the author has also given some more detail like how you can see the difference between the auto playwright versus the zero step itself which is great because the author itself says that auto playwright actually inspired from the zero step itself it's a free library however the cost associated with the open ai because you have to be purchasing that and also the author says that the auto function uses the sanitized html library before sending the sending it to open ai so this is done to reduce the cost and improve the quality of the generated text which is great and i think that is the reason why it is a bit slower compared to the zero step and the zero step you can see that there is a comparison as well so auto playwright uses the open apis open ai's api which zero step doesn't and it also used the plain text prompt uh, which zero step does to be honest but the author says no and it uses the function sdk uh, which i don't know what it is mean but but yeah you see that zero step doesn't really uses that and it uses the html standardization this library which zero step doesn't and it uses the playwrights api uh, as well and i tried using playwright apis even with the zero step as well and it did work so you can see that i use the page dot wait for and also some other apis and it all worked with the zero step as well so it does yes i guess and you can take screenshot with zero step which is not supported with auto playwright you can also do queue websocket uh, and you can do so many things like parallelism and scrolling fixtures all these are supported in zero step which are all not really supported in auto fixture so there are some more kvr with auto playwright as opposed to zero step not just about the speed but also about the features in terms so i think that zero step is quite a good move in terms of using it for the larger organization or larger project but as that said, I think this is another great move 
with open source feature really coming in over here. So if a company is gonna have probably an inbuilt model, and if you're gonna be using that model, so that is gonna reduce your cost as well. I'm not sure how the feature is gonna look like. Not everybody's gonna use the open AI's GPT model, and if they're gonna have their own models in future, then these costs are gonna be tremendously reduced, and I'm sure that that's gonna be the future, an automation cost using these generative AI models cost is going to reduce further in upcoming days. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know about our thoughts and what do you think about this tool. Talk to you and catch you in the next one.